Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is how to figure out average velocity for physics. So if we consider an object such as a car that is traveling in a single dimension, then we have two points in space-time. We have an initial time, an initial position, and then finally we have a final time, t sub f, and a final position, x sub f. The definition of average velocity, typically denoted as v with a bar over it, sometimes with brackets, is the change in position from the final time minus the initial time over the change in time. So this is simply equal to x sub f minus x sub i divided t sub f minus t sub i. As an example, I can consider initial time being equal to 0 seconds and the final time being equal to 5 seconds. The initial position where I started the car, just for the sake of simplicity, I'll call 0 meters. And when we take a snapshot of where the car is at 5 seconds, let's say that the final position is at 10 meters along a ruler, for example. Therefore, using these data points, we have the average velocity is equal to 10 minus 0 meters divided by 5 minus 0 seconds and of course we can ignore the zeros so we just have 10 divided 5 and this is equal to 2 meters per second and that would be the average velocity for this example. My name is Walter Unglob and this is how to figure out average velocity for physics.